It's a fighter at heart. Um, however, we do have an, a single player adventure mode as well. Mm -hmm. And that's, it's an original story that the uh, Cartoon Network and us have come up with. And uh, we wanted to put an adventure mode that can stand on its own if it was just a single player. If Punch Time Explosion was just an adventure game, it would still be pretty strong in its own uh, right. Unlike Super Smash Brothers, when they you know they tried to put a uh, single player adventure game in their last in Brawl, I think it was Brawl or Melee, mm -hmm. um, which was fun. It was like twenty hours long, but it was it was kind of a lot of repetitive run and kill, right? Uh, so for us, we try to make it a more genuine adventure experience. So you will be solving puzzles. You'll be having a variety of game mechanics that you're going to be using to pass each level. So it's not just running and using the fighting mechanics to defeat enemies. You actually can platform and uh, use the 3DS's features in ways to, to continue along in the storyline. What level? Is that, a, is that a skirmish? Yeah. Okay. So he's jumping into battle mode right now with uh, how many AI are you fighting? Just two. Uh, with two AI. It's four player support, so you can, if you don't have three friends available, you can also set up an AI skirmish with three other AI. There's three levels of difficulty. Um, and uh, this level in particular is pretty dynamic. We try to make all of our arenas um, kind of look different at the end than they were when you started. Mm -hmm. So, kind of a story in itself. So, here we're in uh, Ben Ten's world, and eventually they're going to get teleported to the Null Void. Uh, which players from I mean fans of the show would recognize this er this area. So all of our arenas, we have 21 fighting arenas in all. All have these dynamic elements to them. Story mode takes you across uh, all all the television shows in in 32 levels, and they're all designed after iconic locations from the shows themselves. So again, it's uh, just a nod to the fans, like hey, you know, you if you really like the show, you're gonna see all these familiar elements in the game. Um, there you go. So characters, every character has uh, their own set of moves. They have over 200 animations each. Um, and when you're brawling, we have a whole system where you know we wanted to cater to different play fighting styles. So you have your quick characters. You have your characters who are very um, you know big and strong that, but they may be slow. You have guys that can cover a good range with their attacks. We created a huge balance, um, which fits well with the property because you have a character like Dexter or characters like the Powerpuff Girls, who you would expect to be, you know, fast moving and to cover, to cover the environment quickly, and they do, right? Whereas you also have characters like Vilgax, who's Ben Ten's enemy. He's a huge character, and he does move slow, but he hits really hard. So all those balancing factors are designed into the multiplayer skirmish. Got a super ready. Every player has a super attack. Go ahead and trigger that. Oh, oh, oh. That. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, oh. Not. Every player has a super attack, which you're going to see here. Um, which is a cool cinematic sequence. Uh, gave our animators a lot of fun uh, to play with the, the different characters and, and put them in a, in a unique sequence that you might not have seen in the show. This is, uh, this is your player's biggest attack. And they all function differently. Mojo Jojo's in particular, that's a, it's pretty much a screen nuke. You don't want to be next to him. Other, other super attacks are actually controllable. So if you're a Powerpuff Girl and you activate theirs, you can actually, you'll be in super mode for, for several seconds where you can actually navigate around the arena, chase down your opponents, and blast them. Crickets. I'm surprised I'm still alive with this percentage. <laughs> yeah. So those cubes that are dropping, those are the super attack cubes. So you, the more of those you collect, the the I more your meter is going to be <laughs> filling up. Man, they're ganging up on me. <laughs> All characters have four outfits to choose from, um, because we have four player support, and there's Billy and Mandy's. Is it the AI? That trigger that nice. <laughs> Billy and Mandy, are in sp <laughs> specifically, and also uh, some other characters, you'll see now that they're actually permanently in that in the uh, 
that's like mode. Super Saiyan mode. Super Saiyan From, mode. I don't know if that's what it's called in the show, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's... like to do parodies, and that parody was of the Dragon Ball. Of, right, um, right. So it's, again, it's just another nod to, to fans of the show who might have, you know, that was a very popular episode or, or you know, thing that they do. So uh, we have that, those kind of details in the game, those kind of fun uh, uh, show-based uh, elements in the game. Samurai Jack has a similar... Similar, similar thing he does. He actually changes his look as well when you're fighting in the game. He becomes shirtless Jack with his hair down. Um, so it's just really fun to see those things when you're fighting. Oh, <laughs> nice. If you want, um, we can get some uh, a little bit of the single player going. We'll, want it, we'll show you one of the uh, platforming levels. And so you can get an idea of how gameplay works for single player, that it, it is in itself, you know, a, a fun mode as well. It's not just um, something we threw in there without putting any care into. It's a, it's a pretty robust feature. So yeah, go ahead and do Flapjack. When you go into story mode, you select your team of four characters. And so again, the theme of the game is crossover, right? We want to get as much crossover with these brands as possible. And so you're going to see your favorite characters in shows that you just you would never expect to see them in. So he's so his characters here are going to be jumping into Flap the Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack, and you would never see that on TV. So this is the the support um, Cartoon Network has given us as a developer to really just get as much mishmash as we can with all the different Cartoon Network shows and characters. The, any end game scene there, dialogue scene. We got Ben 10 here. Yeah, Ben 10 in particular, he's a really flashy character because of his alien forms. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of his alien forms are tied into a lot of your signature moves. So while he's doing battle, he's constantly switching to his different forms that uh, you would see from the show. We have some of the fame, you know, the more popular forms like Humongousaur, and we also have more recent ones from Ultimate Alien, like Amphibian. The enemies themselves are also pulled from shows. Those are basket robots from Samurai Jack's show. And then we, we kind of use that uh, as like a foreshadowing of, you know, the things that come. So you see a basket, this is uh, level three. So you see a basket robot and you're like, okay, at some point I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run into Samurai Jack, mm -hmm. right? So again, this is just a great opportunity to get as many of those, uh, as many characters from the show as possible that we can. You can switch on the fly like James is doing between any four, any one of your four characters. And coming up is an example of us, you know, just taking advantage of what the 3DS has to offer. This is a, you know, kind of a step one of a puzzle that grows into something much larger later. But uh, the voice, the narrator there is telling the player, hey, blow into the microphone, right? And you can create wind in the environment. So he's doing that and that's gonna raise the platform that he's on. I'm a smoker, so. <laughs> so it's these kind of elements that'll start to just grow and improve upon themselves to really build this and make this feel like, hey, it is a single player adventure, right? It's not, so if I do have the game and it's just me playing, I, at least I have, you know, something I can do, right? And again, that, 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 that runs about seven hours, the single player adventure mode. You familiar with a lot of the shows? Oh, no, not too many. Not too many. How about you? Uh, not, no? <laughs> not recently. It's been a while. I used yeah. to be a big fan, but. Yeah, well, what shows years. did you watch? Uh, on Cartoon Network. Yeah. Be back probably about 15 years ago. What you, were you guys doing 15 years ago? I think there was, at that time, probably Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, Powerpuff. Uh, okay, yeah, that was still. I think Dexter's it was a little. Lab. I've heard of Dexter, but Dexter was actually a little bit after. Oh, was he? Okay. So. I like a swim. I used to watch Adult Swim with my friends in college. Nice, yeah. It's a giant chicken. <laughs> there's a just a huge there's a huge variety of mechanics, game mechanics involved in the game. Mm -hmm. um, later in this level, he'll reach a, a basically a mini game where he does an Angry Birds style of gameplay nice. using the touch using the touch screen. So again, we just wanted to bring. So you know as many elements as we can, just to really fill up the game to make it. Hey, this is, 
this is something new that you're going to be doing with the Cartoon Network shows. In fact, um, not only are we the only ones supporting four-player connectivity, mm -hmm. uh, this is a, an original title mm -hmm. uh, from the built from the ground up. It's not a port from another console. It's not a, a sequel. Um, it's just original game designed for the 3DS specifically. So all our level designs, all the elements you see, it's really designed to take advantage of, for one, the 3DS, the 3D capabilities, and also all the other features it has. Our studio, Papaya, we developed, we, we were the devs on the last two Ben 10, uh, uh, ben 10 <laughs> titles. So we developed Cosmic Destruction and uh, Build Axe Attack. So our relationship with Cartoon Network kind of led into this new, this new venture right here to create something fun <laughs> with all the properties. So you can see we intentionally have things coming towards you, right, to really take advantage of the 2D. And that's just a fun kind of gameplay mechanic right there where you got to keep things balanced while trying to take down the pirate ship. Uh, we have over Chowder, there's over 50 characters Buttercup, represented Flapjack, in the game Captain from Knuckles, the show so got there's number 18 one. playables mm -hmm. and Grim, then uh, in okay. multiplayer Monkey, skirmishes you Dexter, have assist characters that Mac come and in Blue, they join in, you in the battle course, for Blossom, a certain amount, a Bubbles, time mm -hmm. and there's Billy 19 and Mandy, they are and then playable we have, as uh, uh, kind of similar to Ice Climbers we have stuff. There are um, just two guys playing as one. Uh, Samurai Jack, our mystery shows. guy, so that's which you won't say. Have, that's that's Father from Kids Next Door. Okay. You might Dax from Ben 10. From your and Mojo Jojo from Powerpuff Girls. Um, we are the only game that, that is.